Hi there. I'm your host, Britt Olson, and I'm so grateful you've discovered the Loving Your Own Soul podcast. Together, we will embark on a mindful exploration to living a more fluid life through a deeper connection to the soul. My intention is to provide expansion and inspiration so that you can embody the highest expression of your true potential while creating more beauty in the ever-changing world around us. I hope you've arrived here with an open mind and an eager heart to receive all that resonates while leaving behind everything else. If you're feeling ready, let's get into it. All right, y'all. As some of you may know, I've recently found the most wonderful local support system for my little girl, which has allowed me to slowly start stepping back into work. And this journey has been a roller coaster of failed attempts at finding help, but we've finally found trustworthy people to love and care for our little light beam just as we would. It has been such a blessing, and I can say it feels really good to be stepping back into work. I actually have zero mom guilt around this too, because my work fills me up so much and I know that it makes me a better person and allows me to also show up as my best self for my daughter. So in my experience, it's really a win-win all around. Now, if you aren't familiar with me or it's your first time here, welcome. I'm a certified holistic health, wellness, and life coach on a mission to guide women to enhance their life recognize their full potential, and embody their best self. And here's the thing. While I've been stepping back into working again after taking a nine-month maternity leave, totally not planned, by the way, but that's another conversation, I've really been struggling with the word work. So I'm actually phrasing this new phase for me as more of a creative process rather than calling it work. Work just doesn't match the vibe of what I'm doing because I really do love what I do and the ways I serve people. I mean, it fills me up in the most life-giving, positive way. And really at this point in time, I'm in full creation mode as I'm bringing to life all the ideas that have been mulling around in my head these last nine months offline, which I guess I'll go ahead and talk about this. Why not? You're the first to hear this. I'm really excited right now as I guess I'm just going to go ahead and announce this that I have my first launch coming up the week of June 27th. So if you're listening in real time, two weeks from now, mark your calendars. I'm getting back out there and I'm getting back out there with a simple offering. I'm actually calling it a micro course, not even a mini course, but a micro course. So stay tuned for the week of June 27th. Lots of goodness coming your way, especially if you are a postpartum mom mom with an intense sweet tooth, someone who currently feels out of control in life or with their health, someone who feels their current workplace is affecting their health, or I mean, just anyone looking to fine tune their lifestyle a little bit. This micro course is unlike anything I've brought to the market before, and I'm just so thrilled. But that's not why I came on here today. I came on here to talk about what us moms need from our friends in times of transition. Whether you are transitioning into motherhood for the first time or transitioning from one child to multiple, the postpartum experience is one that should not be taken lightly. And I know for me, now that I am a mom and I've experienced childbirth, postpartum, having a baby, sleepless nights, fussy days, hormonal roller coasters, changes in the physical body, mental and emotional highs and lows, I mean, there's so much that goes into this motherhood journey. And I will say for me, I didn't get what my other mom friends had experienced or were experiencing until I was fully in it myself. I didn't understand how lonely motherhood can feel, how purposeless it can feel, how emotional it can be, how scary those thoughts and anxiousness feelings are, and just... I mean, even the way being at home all day with a baby can feel super boring at times, and you'll find yourself questioning your reality or counting down the hours till your partner returns home from work. All very valid experiences from my point of view. But the main thing I found is just how isolating it can feel. And at first, with everything else going on in my postpartum world, I suddenly also just felt so guilty as to how I had or hadn't shown up for the other moms in my life who became mothers before me. 
Now, once I knew the journey, I realized just how much I honestly didn't support them in the ways that they needed it. I didn't know what they needed. It was physically impossible. I hadn't gone through it yet before. But I did find myself, I would replay certain phone conversations, just thinking how she must have hated listening to me and my quote unquote problems at that time period, or how I wasn't even there for her. All I asked about was the baby and how much she loved it. I never even knew she could be hating her reality. And all I'm doing is asking her how great it is. I mean, I replayed so many things in my head until I finally just was like, Britt, you have to stop. It wasn't my fault. I didn't know what it was like to enter into motherhood at that time. And in fact, I could have never known what it would be like until I experienced it for myself. And there is something so major in the connection that happens between these shared experiences. And as cheesy as it is, the journey through motherhood, you really just, you can't get it until you get it. Because I didn't. I had zero clue. (laughs) I thought I had a clue. (laughs) But until I actually went through it myself, I just, I didn't get it. It's, yeah, you're part of this different club. But anyway, what I did learn is that we moms don't have to feel so alone. And if we can have a strong community around us, we can survive anything. Community is everything. It's an innate part of us. However, in our modern world, I find that community around a new mother is quickly becoming a thing of the past. So to everyone out there with new mom friends, I'm just going to give you a host of ways in which you can support these moms during their time of transition. Because if you are anything like I was pre-motherhood, I had zero idea what the experience was actually like. So first and foremost, just reach out to them. Don't expect them to reach out to you. You are not on their mind. But I can tell you what is on their mind is the way that the phone suddenly goes silent once everyone gets that initial baby announcement photo. What's on their mind is the ways in which they feel like their entire worlds have suddenly abandoned them. The ways in which it can feel like everyone was so supportive during their pregnancy and welcoming this baby into the world, and then suddenly they all drop off the face of the planet a week later. So when you do reach out to your mom friends, ask them how they are really doing and don't take fine or good for an answer. Ask them specific questions. Ask them how they feel about motherhood. Don't just assume they are in love with it. Don't ask about the baby. Ask about the mother. You'll hear about the baby. That's kind of the inevitable. But what the mom needs from you is she needs to be heard. She needs you to listen to her. Even if you can't understand where your mom friends are, just acknowledge their experience. Listen to them without judgment. Try to not give unsolicited advice unless they ask for it. Don't share what other moms are doing as you risk throwing this delicate mama into the trap of comparison or not feeling good enough. Simply just support your mom in the decisions she is making for herself and baby, even if they don't align with how you think you do things. Do not expect them to reach out to you to make plans and don't expect them to ask for help. This is your chance to step up and just show up to help. Show up to hold their baby for an hour so that they can get a break. Show up with dinner or coffee for them. Don't expect them to call you back or text back in a timely manner. Don't ask them for support for your current problems. Please lean on your other friends for that. This mom is trying to care for her baby, herself, her household, her plants, her animals, her partner. She doesn't have space to care for you right now. You have other friends who can support you while she's unavailable. And to that point, do not take anything personal right now. This is a time in your friendship where things aren't about you. Your mom friend's world just radically changed and it's okay that you don't yet understand it. In fact, you don't need to understand it. You just need to be there for her. You can help your mom friend feel like the world isn't moving on without her. This is huge. Just continue inviting her to the movie nights, the Zoom meetups, the yoga classes, park dates, whatever you and your other friends are making plans for, invite your mom friend. Even though you already probably know she can't go or you think she can't go, that doesn't matter. That's not your choice. It's the receiving of the invitation that brings life to her. 
It is life-giving. And who knows, one day she might be available. So don't also assume she's never available. And to that point, if she says no to seeing you, don't take that personally either. It's just where she is right now, and it has nothing to do with you or your friendship. Honor her capacity and how she's moving through the transition. She's just doing her best. Help your mom friend to feel loved and seen and heard. Help her to feel supported and just love her unconditionally. And remember that this is just a phase. It's not forever. Just because your mom friend has always been the strong one doesn't mean she is strong right now. Just because you had an easy transition into motherhood yourself, possibly, doesn't mean she's having the same experience. And just because she is in love with her new little baby doesn't mean that it's not also the hardest thing she's ever encountered. The journey into motherhood and dealing with postpartum looks different for every single family. So all I can say is just support your mom, friends. Thinking about them is not enough. They need to know you still exist and care. And once again, if you do anything with this information, just be there for them. Just be there for your new mom friends. Don't check in once. Check in time and time and time and time again. Don't ask if they need anything. Just show up and do what feels best. Your actions of any kind will be her saving grace. I promise you that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let it be messy. Just be there for her. Community can make or break motherhood. And I will say support is vital for the new mother. So wrap your mom friends in community and just love them. I hope you enjoyed this loving your own soul conversation and are now feeling an internal sense of inspiration and expansion. I encourage you to go take action on one simple thing that will not only better yourself, but also the world around you today. I'd love for you to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at the Brent Olson, and I cannot wait to see you embody the highest expression of your own true potential. Now, one last thing before you go, Please don't forget to check out the show notes for special discounts on some of my favorite and well-trusted products that will serve you well in all areas of your life. And if you want to continue learning and connecting together, be sure to check out my website, thebrittolson.com. Plus, if you feel called, I'd love for you to rate and review the show, whether on Apple Podcasts or by sending me a DM on Instagram to let me know your thoughts. Once again, you can reach me at the Brit Olson on Instagram and exchange for your feedback or review. I'd love to send you my free ebook to making simple modern smoothies that your mind and body will love. Plus, I will also include a special energy healing meditation. All you have to do is simply leave a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify and screenshot it to send to me and or directly message me your feedback at the Brit Olson on Insta. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for you. And I hope you have a beautiful day.